Hi, this is Santo from VintageComputer.ca. Today we're going to take a look at the Nabu PC and the floppy disk controller reproduction project. What we've learned, what we've been able to do, and the fact that now uh, not only is the test board built, but you can also boot from a 720k floppy. So what we have here is the Nabu PC. Uh, the case has been removed because this actually is the reproduction floppy disk controller card for the Nabu. Uh, and it also is utilizing both a 720, uh, three and a half inch double sided double density disk, which actually works out to a little bit more on the Nabu. And there is a double sided double density five and a quarter inch disk. Now, you may remember that on the left-hand side is the original Nabu PC uh, floppy drives, uh, dual drives. These are actually uh, about 180K, and so they're single-sided double density, but uh, the Nabu actually handles other different formats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, switch over to a uh, screen view, and I'll boot up each of the uh, two disks, or take a look at the actual format of the disks so you can see what is on them. So what we have here is the Nabu PC. We have two disk drives that are connected. One is a three and a half inch double sided double density disk drive. The second one which is drive B is a double sided double density five and a quarter inch drive. Now we've done some testing um, last time you saw that we were able to bring up an HXC 2001 and boot from that. Um, what I've been doing is playing with different disk drives and capacities and so on. So what I'm going to do today is show you the disk drives and what happened. So I'm going to, first of all, while I'm talking, I'm going to press the go key and boot up from the 720k floppy and you'll see the light come on on the top drive that has the green disc in there okay and that comes up and uh, one of the things to note is that these discs uh, that I've set up uh, have both the Leo 1 and the Leo 2 software on them. So um, the last time, if you recall, there was actually two discs. Uh, one of them was the user disc, which you can see there. The other one was the developer disc, which you can see there. And essentially now, there is only a user disk because everything is on this disk. Okay, and that's the uh, three, the five and a quarter inch disk. And this one here in Christmas colors is the three and a half inch disk. And that has both the CPM user disk and the developer disk. Now, the CPM user disk is, is essentially the disk that people would get if they purchased or rented the dual disk drive or the single disk drive depending on the configuration. So the developer disk basically uh, has a bootable version of CPM but it also has different versions of the CPM3.sys file. So you'll see on the second line here that this is CPM3 FHT. We talked about it briefly last time. That means floppy, hard disk, and terminal. Um, so if I do a directory on the A drive, you're going to see essentially the files. I'm going to scroll with the side scroll buttons and you'll see on the bottom side are the different uh, CPM3 files. Okay, and then the top side basically is the CPM user disk. Now, if I do a Nabu show, on this disk, 
Okay, this is going to show us essentially some information on the disc. Now you'll see that this is a NABU double density disc. So this is the three and a half inch disc we're talking about. And it has, uh, this is basically the geometry. You'll see that things are very similar. So sector size and sectors per track are the same. Uh, the big difference is the tracks per volume that has increased. And uh, obviously the, the blocks have increased as well. So if I get out of here and I do a show a colon drive this is essentially going to show me some more information on the disk drive and uh, so you see we're looking at the A drive and if you look at the third line you'll see that there's 794 kilobytes on this uh, drive so that's the capacity of this disk so I'm going to go ahead and go to the B drive which is now the five and a quarter inch double sided double density drive and I'm going to do a NABU show on drive B and you're going to see that um, basically this is half of the tracks per volume so you'll see that this has got a whole lot less disk space remaining because again this is the um, combination of both the two original uh, single-sided double density discs and if I go now now one of the things to make a quick note of is that the top says this is a NABU double density disc and uh, that was different the last time so that's a single density disc and this is in fact a bootable NABU disc so if I do a show B colon drive you're gonna see the characteristics of this disk and you'll see again on the third line that this has 394 K on the disk so it's actually a little bit uh, more than DOS is 360 K and obviously the a drive is uh, a little bit more than the 720 K that is on that disk so um, the big thing with uh, what we went through trying to, the big thing is not necessarily creating the disks. That was a bit of a, of a chore, but it was trying to image them. So with a cryoflux, we can image them. And it's a flux image. It basically looks at every bit that's on the disk, makes a copy of it, writes it back. So that we were able to do. What I was trying to do is do an IMD or an image disk uh, image, which is a sector data copy. It's not a flux image copy, but it's, a, it's an easier way to, to make floppy images because you just need a regular floppy drive. With the uh, flux image, we basically have to use a cryo flux I also used uh, an applesauce and I used a, uh, a can, uh, the HXC software to convert it to an HFE file, which is what I used on the HXC 2001, that floppy emulator that was in the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, check back to see uh, that booting from there. So basically, uh, I spent a lot of time trying to make these IMD disks and it was simply so that people can, it was more accessible. I had some issues, but um, one of the people that actually uh, contacted me was Disk Blitz. Now Disk Blitz contacted me through uh, Discord because I'm on uh, the applesauce discord to talk about different disk formats and uh, catch up on a lot of uh, late breaking news on the applesauce and the sorts of disks that it is able to image and uh, so disk blitz who is John Keone Morris who is the uh, maker of applesauce he contacted me 
because he had heard about this and probably because I had put up some stuff on Twitter but uh, he actually worked with me I tried a few different uh, images that uh, John was asking for and we tried a few different things and he basically determined that there is some uh, information that's on track zero that cannot be recorded with sector imaging uh, sector data imaging so basically IMD or, or image disk and things like teledisk any of those types of uh, utilities that that can use a regular floppy drive on a PC to make an image they cannot actually image those disks so I was able to do it with the applesauce I have uh, images that are basically on my uh, website, so I'll point a link to those. So basically I have cryoflux images, I have uh, HFE images, so the images actually work on, uh, on a uh, HXC 2001. And those images, by the way, are the, the double-sided double density three and a half, and the double-sided, double-density, uh, five and a quarter inch images, those can work. And I also have applesauce images, which are uh, A2R files. So if you have uh, any one of those tools, you can use them. Uh, now, the other thing is that we've been doing a lot of discussion on this, and this is uh, some of the information that Disk Blitz put up on the Vintage Computer Forum. Uh, we've been doing a lot of the discussion on this in a specific uh, forum post called Bad Disk Image. This actually was, is a, quite an old uh, post uh, when I first started to look at the NABU per 1, 2, and 3 disks. Now, um, w one of the people on here is Bryjohn who is working on the MAME version of uh, NABU PC emulation and he's been uh, doing a lot of stuff there's actually quite there's a few people that have been doing certain things um, and uh, but what he had done is he had understood what the issue was once that had been found and he worked around it so that he had patched the discs so that you could in fact make image discs from uh, or copies of the image disks from the files that uh, have been modified. So Bride John had actually modified them so that uh, they can be made and it basically, I won't get into the technicalities, but it, it basically gets around the issue with the um, imaging and having to do flux images. So, uh, and he's been, he has that because he's using that in his uh, version of MAME and so on. So, um, been doing some great work on the MAME side. Um, but other than that, um, we basically, this is the, there's actually a thread, and I'll put a link in the description on the NABU PC emulation under MAME, and you can see that there's nine pages of discussion and so on. So a lot of activity on that as well. So other than that, we have the uh, floppy disk controller, which is uh, still being tested. It's, uh, there's going to be another revision of it. And after that, there's going to be a little bit more testing. And um, basically, that's where it lies right now. So... Um, Look for more information coming soon, but you can see that uh, the floppy disk controller card has been cloned. It does work. There's new formats. Uh, a lot of stuff is going on and uh, more stuff will come. So thank you for watching and uh, we will see you soon. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments or if you have any comments put them there as well otherwise we will see you next time thanks for watching